God is good, and with each day that passes brings us a day closer to the launch of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. This is the Nathan Napalm channel, and if you are new here, please consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in Pantheon-related content, because that's what we do. Guys, today I want to talk about an interesting subject, which is class balance, right? Can we achieve true class balance in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen? Many of us have played many MMOs over the years, and we know that this is a constant struggle in most MMOs, is trying to balance out the classes, and I want to talk about that. So, number one, I've heard people say it's impossible that you cannot have true class balance otherwise the game would suck right i've heard that before like if if there was perfect class balance then they would all have to be the same which would make the game be horrible well i just want to say that that's not what class balance means to me it's not that they all can do the same thing or you know everybody can heal themselves and everybody can tank in a pinch everybody can do good damage in a pinch that's not what it means to me. It just to me means that every class is able to hold their own. In other words, they can get a group. They can they have meaning. They have value. They're needed out in the world with other pe other other people want that class. That's what it means. And it it meaning that there's not this one class such as the early days with the Ranger in EverQuest where nobody wants them and they're hugely broken or there's so much better options than this particular class that nobody wants them in a group. That's unbalanced classes. So balanced classes would mean to me just that being able to get in groups because they hold value. Now, to me, it's very difficult, and I think that's why a lot of MMOs fail at class balance. It's very difficult to do that and achieve that if your classes in your MMO do not have an identity, if they don't have a soul, if they don't have a purpose, if they don't have something special about them, if they're not keyed into a specific role, then it, to me it's kind of hard for you to have class balance because what purpose is this class for, right? And I think that's a big issue with uh, more modern MMOs is they try to make it balanced by making everybody be able to do everything. So you need, first of all, you need to have a role in the group, something that your class does. Now that could be a caster, it could be a tank, it could be melee DPS, it could be a healer, that could be crowd control, whatever. They need to have a specific role and that is something that Pantheon definitely has. Every single class has a role. They are, they fit into one of those categories that I just mentioned. Then developers need to balance out each one of those roles. So for example, take the warrior, the dire lord, and the paladin. Those are the tanks in Pantheon right now. For launch so those need to be balanced in order and in, in other words they need to have an equal opportunity to be invited into groups and to be able to tank now that goes all across the board so we need to have raids with paladins in mind we need to have raids with warriors in mind we need to have uh, raids with the dire lord in mind where that is and and i don't see a problem with that as long as it's balanced and everybody has once again equal opportunity if they split those raids up into, well, there's a lot of undead, this is undead uh, boss, uh, so the paladin would be good here, etc., etc. That's how I see they should be able to do that. You know, uh, some raid bosses need to be very magical oriented. Uh, the Dire Lord would be your best bet for that. You see where I'm going with this. So each role archetype has a place where they really succeed. Now, does that mean that a paladin can't tank one of the others? Absolutely not. It's just the uh, there was another tank that would have been able to do it better, but a really skilled player can get through either way. And what this also does is it creates something that I really enjoyed that Joppa and Minus from Pantheon Plus and during that interview talked about, which was that typical MMO thing where you're playing a class, it's your class, it's your main, you love it, but you see other classes doing cool stuff and you're like, man, I want to do that too. You don't want your actual class to be able to do everything, right? The one that you're maining, but what you what it does is it sparks you to go and make an, an alt, to go make another a character and and level up that because you saw somebody you know or maybe even somebody you didn't know do some really cool feats and you're like man i would that is so cool i'm i'm in love with that idea and now i'm gonna go make that class so that's very good for gameplay longevity of the game etc but moving forward there is a kink in my plan so far okay there's a big problem here because you have hybrid classes right 
And, and I think this is where things tend to get a little muddled, right? Uh, you have classes that are hybrid, and then you have pure classes. So your pure classes are meant for that one role. So I would say, for example, a warrior, that is a tank. It's a tank. That's what he does. A paladin, he can heal a little bit, right? He's a little bit of a hybrid. Uh, I think the necro and the bard, they're going to be a little bit of a hybrid. They're definitely, you know, crowd control and support oriented. But I think that they can fill multiple roles. So when you get into these hybrid classes, things get a little bit more jarbled and, and mixed up. So the deal with the hybrid class is, in my opinion, and I think you'll agree with me, they just can't be as powerful in any role as a pure class would be. So, yes, they can do many different things, and they can kind of change the way they're playing in order to make up for some lack of something in a group, a lack of DPS, and they can do a little bit of that to kind of make up for that. Uh, maybe there's a lack in healing, they can make up for that. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's awesome, and I actually think your MMO needs these kind of classes because they're kind of like, well, you know, we will definitely take a bard in the group. You know, I don't care who else is in the group, we'll definitely take a bard, right? Because if if anybody's lacking or, or what have you, there's so many tools in his repertoire that he would be able to do that can get us out of a lot of tricky situations. So, you know, those hybrid classes, they're, they're really cool because it's kind of like having a backup for a couple of things, right? And, and I think that's good, but how do you balance that, right? Well, I think that's simple. I think I already answered that. You balance that by the percentages of how of how good they are in the two or maybe even three roles or whatever, however many roles they can fulfill, needs to be a percentage of how effective that is versus the actual pure classes. So a hybrid class should never be on par and, and be able to actually compete directly with a pure class as far as any of those things go, in my opinion. Because if somebody picks a wizard, then they're a DPS class. It's what they do. And it just wouldn't be fair if another class that could, such as Bard, could do just as much damage as them. I think we can all agree with that. That just isn't fair. Uh, it's not acceptable. The, the person who picked the wizard class did it because they wanted to do DPS, they wanted to nuke, and all that kind of thing, and see big numbers. And it's fair that they get to do that, because that's the, that's the reason they exist. That is their identity. Now, the big part of class balance, and this is where most developers like really tune into class balance, I think they should probably focus a little bit more on what we discussed previously as a base, and that's something that Visionary Realms, I feel like, did a really good job of doing from the very get-go of letting us know that there is no best tank or tank for every scenario or healer for every scenario or DPS for every scenario. That's going to depend on the situation, and they're balancing that out through the actual mechanics and the actual mobs, etc. in the game. And that's great. They nailed that. But here's where we get into where most developers spend all their time trying to trying to balance their classes, and that is the abilities and the spells and things that, you know, the character can actually do. And a big problem, in my opinion, I think that most MMOs really try really hard and do a fairly good job at making the actual abilities kind of balance out. But the problem that I think a lot of people run into is when they get those abilities, right? So, for example, if a warrior gets a taunt ability in order to provoke the, the enemy early, they, let's say they get it at level 10, and the Paladin doesn't get it until level 20, it's just, it ruins things, right? Because immediately, in this very honeymoon kind of experience of the game, you're already saying the warrior is a better tank. And, and the reason that you're thinking that is because you don't know the game that well. You're only level 10, you're grouping up with a Paladin versus grouping up with the warrior. And the warrior's taunting and holding aggro, and the paladin's all over the place fighting to keep it. You see what I mean? Or the dire lord, or whatever. It doesn't matter who you place in that category. But it causes an issue where immediately, during a very key development period of your brain and how the game works, you've already made your decision, and I've seen this in so many MMOs, Final Fantasy XIV uh, Realm Reborn when it first came out, for example, where it just looked as though a certain class was way better than others, because they just hadn't gotten to that point where they got that ability, their version of it, you know, or their their way of doing it yet. 
and therefore in groups and things it, it kind of creates this stereotype and it never really goes away even after you get to level 20 and now paladins can hold aggro your brain has already accepted that the warrior is a better tank by now so therefore you're you're not going to accept it so i think when they get the abilities are very key especially in those early levels when they can do things that their class needs to be able to do i always just felt like a tank should be able to taunt period i always anybody that's followed me for a long time you know i get so aggravated when it's like man why do i still not have taunt i'm at the point where i have to get in groups now and i have no way to hold aggro and i can't do my job and i'm aggravated i will literally quit playing a game over it you know like it gets on my nerves i, I picked a tank because i want to tank and then you don't give me the tools to do so and i'm put in situations where i need to be able to do it and i don't like it i i don't like it i don't want to play anymore and it ruins everything and it ruins the reputation of that class entirely and it puts people in a position where they're less likely to go out and even want to get a group until they get the ability to be able to do their job correctly okay so if i was for example uh, let me put it in a way i think we could all understand if i was a carpenter i would not go to a job without my hammer and nails period i just wouldn't take the job at all i just wouldn't do it if somebody offered me hey i've got a job for you and i didn't even have a hammer or nails and i'm a carpenter i wouldn't take the job right so it's kind of the same thing and people feel that and that's how everybody it's a pretty humanistic trait that you want to have the tools in order to do the job so i think when it comes to abilities a lot of mmos fell on that very basic line they're always looking at the final end game the final level and balance there when they need to be thinking about the balance during the journey because a lot of people aren't even going to make it to that last point that you're focused on because you didn't think of the actual meat and potatoes the actual journey of getting there so that's my two cents on that so let's wrap it up guys is class balance possible in pantheon rise of the fallen i think based on that's my interpretation what i just said of what i believe class balance is and how to achieve it in my personal opinion and by the way please leave me a comment down below on your opinion on class balance there's some examples of things being unbalanced or a game where it was really balanced in the comments down below but I do believe that Pantheon is going to be very balanced. I think at launch, based on the amount of research and the amount of effort they're putting into it, and you know, once we get into heavy testing periods such as alpha and beta, I think that's where the final nail in the construction of these uh, the class balance will come into place, where they're going to find out any tweaks and things they need to do. But yes, I absolutely think that the way that they're building these classes from the very beginning and actually understanding the very basic roles that these classes need to fulfill them being so careful with their hybrid classes and everything i do absolutely believe there's going to be some of the best class balance we've ever seen in a launched title when pantheon actually comes out and that's my opinion based off of following the game very closely reading through all the notes on what classes can do the only thing i could see them struggling with because we just don't know enough information about yet is what i talked about before as far as when do we get this when does the tank get the ability to do key things for his role when does the healer get key things when does the dps when does the cc that is unanswerable at this time and it's i hope it's something that they definitely think about because most developers don't and i think it's super important so all in all class balance is when your actual roles are identified correctly and only muddled by a little bit by your hybrid classes in which case the hybrid classes never are more effective than a pure class and that every class has an opportunity to get a group and go out and do their role pro appropriately it is okay if in certain scenarios one of those options of the role can provide a substantial bonus however they need equal opportunity of options of things to do and of course in order for this to even be fun at all there of course there has to be diversity of the classes all these things looks as though at this point the development of pantheon that they have under lock and key and that is one of 
many examples of why this MMO is the one I am most excited for, and everything up until this point and after Pantheon are just noise, white noise, until this game is launched and it's something we can all play every day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think about Class Bounce, if you agree with me, if you have more to add to that, or you have examples, or you want to talk about games that was unbalanced, or or what whatever you want to talk about, leave that in the comments down below. And guys, of course, if you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Click that right down below and subscribe to the channel. Help me out. And until next time, guys, God bless and happy gaming. Listen to what I say. I've been making videos all day. My friends all say I'm it's a video buffet. You can even hit replay. But please just subscribe, I can't even describe, be a part of my tribe, I'll even offer you a prize, but just please just subscribe, and hit the bell notification too.